Well, as you know, I go around the coastal line now and again I'm on holiday, my little seaside trips, and I suss out any remaining tobacconists that are still available. If you're around this area, the only place to go is Murray's News, which is this place here. news in Skegness and this is where you get all your pipe paraphernalia. We've got Peterson, big Rangers Peterson stuff there, Zippo. Now this is Neil from Murray's News. Now the original owners you took it on from them, you, you, you kept him going from the, the Yeah, the, the, the people who used to, well, who still own the building actually, are called Murray's, and we've kept the name going. Uh, the people who, uh, who ran it previous to us, they kept the name, and so have we. So and it's, you're still, uh, and it's still, not going well. still going well. Yeah, very still, well. Snuff, you got the snuff there as well, you got snuff. We've expanded on the snuff and the pipe tobacco in the last four years, and we keep adding to it as we go on. So, what about cigars? Cigars, yeah, we, we don't do a vast amount of cigars, but we do have them. We do yeah. uh, do them, but not to the extent we do the pipe tobacco and the snuff. So that you say your pipe tobacco is still your possibly your your best seller. It is, yes, yeah. as far as the loose tobacco goes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And, but you yeah. say you sell more aromatic tobacco than you do. The American non blends are very popular. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What about pipes? Because you've got a lot of good Peterson ones. Yeah, we have a few Petersons, but um, uh, we're expanding as we go along. We've. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite a good <laughs> range there, yeah. but we, we, we've got a bit of everything. We do, uh, you know, um, the markets that we get tend to be the lower end of the scale, if you get what I mean. Yeah, they, yeah. they come on holiday, they've that's, gotten the yeah, pipe, that's, I need that's the pipe, it, yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't want to spend £60 on a good one, what have you got? And I mean, I see quite a lot of, where I go in Nottingham, there's a lot of young pipe smokers, but obviously around here you've got the traditional old guy with his, you know, his dog, his flat cap, he's yeah, smoking his pipe. Yeah. I mean, I've seen one or two below 50 smoking a pipe. Oh, yeah, you we do say get you, them. you do, yeah. yeah. Oh, but yes, I think there's yeah. more people who've given up cigarettes and gone yeah. to pipes than there were many years ago. Definitely. You had a cabinet there, though. I, men I mentioned it before. Did you take that down? It was we've, full of people. Yeah, we, we've altered it round a bit, but we're right. going to be doing it again this right. winter yeah. after yeah. Christmas. We're going to be revamping the uh, the whole area because the e cigarettes are coming on very strong nowadays. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, we, we've got to. Um, Have you had the e pipe? I've been asked for one all. <laughs> I've tried last one. Week. It's good. And it's I very will good. be getting them because yeah. uh, there is a market out yeah. there for them. Yeah. Yes. I mean, but, to say because uh, uh, I say I've tried one. Somebody, uh, a guy called Sean, brought one to the park club in Nottingham, and it was very good. It yeah. Was, it had yeah. vanilla flavour, vapour, and it was excellent. The the, the vapours are very good. Yeah. 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 So you're going to have all this covered in, yeah? All, all that will be covered, yeah. All yeah. that will have doors on it. So, I mean, the, the loose tobacco, probably, we will get away with still keeping it with... In the jars and the stuff. The jars, yeah. but they will have to be frosted so you can't see the tobacco. Oh, God, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Because yeah. uh, what they're saying now, you see, if it's got a sweet t sounding name or like Caribbean coconut there, it could influence children, so they don't. They wouldn't have anything. Well, like, the been, a lot of it's been to, banned. The EU is trying to ban all menthol and flavoured cigarettes and anything uh, under 50 grams right. in yeah. loose tobacco so that um, people can't buy 12.5 yeah. yeah. grams yeah. anymore yeah. plus 10 cigarettes they're going to ban those and it's gonna, trying to and have you are you going to go the, the, the is it all going to be plain packaging no because they've had a big, the big row with that haven't it, they it's a bit funny because this in the uk we <laughs> We, we've thought we've got away with the plain packaging, yeah, but yeah. the EU is a different matter. I've heard this. And we, we've got to see which one, you yeah, know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. gets the better of each other, so to say. Yeah. So I don't really know what's happening yet. 
The only thing we do know is that definitely there's going to be doors on the main gantry right. by 2015 yeah. so for you just, supermarkets. Are you going to have a, a list here of what you've got? Because I don't know what the laws and yeah. regulations well, will be. Well, when Asda now are doing a list, which is much better, at least you can lift up and say, right, oh, yeah. the, you've got some Bruno and you've got... But some of them, you just got to know what you're looking for. And then yeah. they've, they've, got, they've got so many minutes to open that thing. Yeah, you're only thing. allowed a certain area to be open at a certain time. But uh, I must admit, I haven't really bothered a lot with the rules and regulations no. at this moment because I don't need to. But no, that's, come, great. that's great, that's yeah. good though, because my local co-op can be fined, yeah. imprisoned if they have, yeah. if they take a bag of cigarettes over to the till, if yeah. they're a little bit longer than so many minutes, they can get pinched for it. Well, when I go to <laughs> Booker's Cash and Carry, the most stupidest thing on earth, I have to go into a, 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 a confined area where the cigarettes are, with curtains on. Oh my I God. Have to, I have to put them in a bag so that it's like when I come out of there, nobody in the cash and carry can see what I've got in the bag. You know, and these are yeah. this is this is where yeah. the shopkeepers go, yeah. and we have to hide them. But when we get to the tills, they come out of the bag. Yeah, you can see them then. Yeah, but then they go into a black bin bag because we aren't allowed to have them uncovered yeah. until yeah. we've actually purchased them. Yeah. Then, at this moment in time, I can go and show everybody my cigarettes yeah. after I bought yeah. them. Yeah. 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 But uh, it's it's a. Uh, it's a stupid, mad, insane lot. Of yeah, it is. It's crazy because, like, it's almost like you're doing something. You know, it's like uh, when I get the idea of, of like all the all the boards across, it reminds me of a sex shop where yeah. you can't see the well, content it, it, and the you know they're covered up, yeah. the blacked out windows and yeah. and things like that. I think I think, I think if they concentrated <laughs> more on stopping illegal tobacco coming into the yes, country, right, it would yeah. save an awful lot yeah. more lives than what they would do with doing what they're doing now. That's right. Yeah. Just uh, some of the uh, Ultimum, please. Just Ultimum? To, yeah, please. How much are you after, mate?